Uh, can I begin by saying that um, today uh, we have just opened the hub next door, which is a place for people who have uh, um, uh, are receiving offers, who do have big decisions to make in their lives, to come along and get further information. I know Roger will make more comments about that in a few minutes. Can I just talk about uh, the offer? And in those offers there'll be the individual amount and the uh, arrangements for people um, to consider. Um, I think we, it's fair to say that the, when the consent forms went out a couple of weeks ago, uh, the, we still expected that people would take a period of time uh, to respond to those. But we've had 3,069 of those forms come in into a state that's sufficient for them to get the offer uh, documentation um, from today. Um, that represents about 85% of the total of people who are affected in that first um, uh, tranche of houses. Um, and um, uh, while we know that uh, we mailed out around um, you know, 4,000 of those, uh, very few have not responded at this stage, indicating, I think, uh, given the time that people had, uh, quite a long, uh, quite, a, quite a, a desire to move on with life. They still have more time to consider, obviously, the offer when it does arrive. So as of today, there are uh, 4,063 uh, 4 consents that have been received and returned to Sarah. To Sarah. Um, 3,591 have been entered into the system and their offer documents are coming out rapidly. Uh, there are a total of 47 applications uh, that have requested fast tracking on the basis that they have some medical or other hardship that means they need to be uh, shuffled up the queue a bit. Uh, 573 of the forms uh, that we have received um, are going to need further information supplied uh, because people have got things a little bit wrong even believe it or not, addresses and names of insurance companies. Um, there were in that number, for example, uh, over 300 that had missing information that we still need to collect, but we'll make individual uh, um, uh, contact with those people. Um, there are a further 50 that have uh, unspecified health needs that will need to be uh, put into some sort of um, queue as well. And if there's anyone who has returned their uh, do their documentation and haven't had contact from Sarah and don't receive an offer document by middle of next week, then they should ring 0800 7464 2372. Um, I'm sure that means something, but I can't quite uh, recall what it is. But 0800 7464 2372 if there's no offer document or other correspondence from Sarah by the middle of next week. Uh, if you include the uh, Kaiapoi numbers that were out yesterday, this is a very, very big property transaction. Um, and uh, because it is uh, over 5,000, uh, 5,500, in fact, individual contracts, it makes it a very big undertaking. And the SER organisation will commit to move as quickly as possible, given the uh, rather large numbers who appear to want to move on pretty quickly. It's a big decision for people. It's not one that they should make lightly. Um, and we would hope that they take the time uh, to read the two documents that will be included in their offer. Um, those two documents are, hang on, I'll just, uh, sorry about that. Uh, firstly, answers to your questions. And third is the purchase offer with supporting information. There's a bit of uh, fuss around yesterday that there was some uh, additional documentation on the Law Society website. I think it's uh, so, uh, simply to say that it's very important that all the local lawyers understand all of the um, uh, bits and pieces that are around the um, and associated with the offers. Uh, these documents are written in incredibly straightforward and simple language. Uh, they'll be released publicly um, towards the end of next week. We want the recipients of the offer to receive them before there's a, uh, a sort of a general trawl through them. Um, but we would encourage people to sit down, have a read through those things. Many will have made their minds up, that's fine, but if people are a little uncertain, uh, we do want people to take the time to find out what's going on. My final point is that we still believe the offers are very fair. Uh, and, uh, you know, while people might talk about a gap between uh, the money that they get for their property and what it costs them, that is quite a different problem and quite a different proposition from the preservation of the equity that people have in the property that's damaged. And uh, our view is strongly that the valuations that we have uh, chosen, uh, that is the latest rating valuation, uh, does stack up well. Uh, the uh, value of general uh, confirms that. 
um, as does the uh, New Zealand uh, Value as Organisation. Um, so it's never easy in these circumstances, it's always difficult, but in the end, uh, getting a, into a position where you can move forward is what's most important.